Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. Y'all, I tried to go live and do this, this video, and <laughs> right when I was finna say that this person is thinking about trapping you with a baby or something dealing with a child um, that you may or may not know about, that could be like secrets um, regarding a baby. Yeah, my, my internet just, it, it just went out. Like, I don't know. I just, now I really want to know what's going on. Now I really want to know what's going on because that was strange. I have really good internet connection. So maybe it's something that this person just don't want you to know. What, what is this? What is this energy spirit? What's going on with this person? Thank you. Yeah, this person is manipulative as hell. The magician in refers. Um, this is... This is some coward energy. Planning, indecision, manipulation, abuse, and power. But abuse of power. This person is man manipulative. This is a very manipulative type of energy. This person is feeling a very, um, they're feeling empty. They're feeling very empty, feeling emotionally low. The Knight of Pentacles is here. This is talks about this talks about patience, planning, moving slowly though, okay? Hoping that you don't give up. Or this person saying that they're not gonna give up. Yeah, this person was juggling you. Let me put this camera down here so y'all can see. See so y'all can see this fuckery, okay? This person was juggling you. Two of Pentacles. They were juggling you. Right. All right. This person was juggling you. This person was very irresponsible and very manipulative. Manipulation is here right next to each other because both of these cards are here in reverse. This is someone who was just very calculated with how they move, what they did, what they said to you. Very, very calculated type of energy. I, I'm there. This person that put forth no effort when it came to you in this connection, and when they did put forth any effort, it was. They wanted to see what they could get from you. It was always about them and what they could get. This person was juggling you, though. I do not like the way my camera is. See, I had my camera angle right before, you know. All right. What else? Yeah. Yeah. This person overindulged in third-party situations, and this person has a lot of baggage. What is this baggage? What is some of this baggage, spirit? What is this baggage? Conflict. Competition. You and this person stop getting along. You got very annoyed with this person. You are very annoyed with the situation. You was very annoyed with um, this person's behavior. It was just a lot of things about this person that started to reveal themselves to you. And this person, even though you are, I really feel like this is you in this Queen of Wands energy. I really feel like this is you. You're you're very generous. I heard you are over giver. You're very powerful. You you are standing in your power at this time. Like you are taking life by the horns you're getting everything that you want everything that you want you are receiving at this time you are manifesting left and right you give awesome advice this person was using you for your advice your finances this person was juggling you and a queen of swords type of energy Or you could be embodying both of these energies, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Meaning you're very intelligent, you're very, you're very professional. I feel like a lot of you guys could be entrepreneurs. You could have a spiritual business, a boutique, a shop, a bakery, 
Uh, it's just whatever it is you have going on, whether you're a man or a woman, you don't need this person. They didn't like this. This person is obsessed with wealth. They're obsessed with status. They're, they are obsessed with money. This person was obsessed with having multiple partners. Yeah, there was some type of union that was supposed to take place between you and this person that never got off the ground. This could be your counterpart. You feel like this is your twin. This person may be in the process of losing their home or they will be losing their home soon. Meanwhile, you are getting your wishes fulfilled. You know, you are very abundant. You're satisfied with the way things are going in your life right now. This person is holding back from communicating with you. Why is this person holding back from communicating with the collective? Wow. They lied to you. They think you know something. The high priestess and the five of swords, this person think that you know something because they know you're gifted. They know that you're intuitive. They feel like it's something that you know that you're just not saying. It's, there's a dirty little secret that this person is keeping from you that they think that you know. The five of swords is the liar card, okay? It talks about betrayal, loss. Strife, arguments, tension, competition, no win, empty ass victory. The situation, man, this person is fucked up. They is this who in the hell are y'all dealing with? This same energy want to come back though. They want to come back, but this person is an attention seeker. They want to come back because you are not giving them the attention that you that they're used to use to get from you. They're used to getting a certain type of vibe from you, like you pouring out all of your energy into this person, you know? Meanwhile, this person was very moody, very intolerant, very manipulative, emotionally unavailable. Some of you guys are stars. Um, you may have a YouTube channel. You may be a Instagram star. Um, you, this person is Seeing you be prosperous, seeing you be abundant with this Ten of Pentacles energy because you are a star. You know, wealth comes to you easily. Um, you, are, you are building generational wealth. You are building something established. You're working towards building a legacy, I'm hearing. You are retreating from this person. While this person's wanting some forgiveness from you. It says time alone and nature will help you recharge. And forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So you are taking time out, time away from this person. So you don't care nothing about this person not talking to you right now. You could fucking care less because you are working on yourself. You are in the star energy. You have star quality. You are a star. Some of you guys are star seeds, okay? Mean, meaning that you are here to do God's work. You are here for on a mission. Like you are here to help raise the vibration and the frequency of the planet. You're here to be of service. You don't care the way this person thinks that you care. And this really used to bother you. This don't bother you the way that it used to. You don't care nothing about that. Look at that denial. Detached with love to clearly see the truth. You have detached with love. Because in the past, you were and you're no longer in denial about who this person is and what they did to you. So you detach. Like, you still love them. Like, you will always love this person. But you loving yourself more. Look at that. Abundance. Okay, it says, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Didn't I just say? You guys are in this Ten of Pentacles energy. You are stars. Abundance come to you with no effort at all. You don't have to. Spirit do not want you to overwork yourself at all. You know, set the intention. Put, put it out there. Take the first steps and spirit will do the rest. Your person wish that things would have played out differently between you guys. Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. They know that they owe you some type of an apology. And accept this. Everything's happened for everything happens for a reason. You also wish that things would have played out differently between you and this person. But you are in the energy of acceptance. You like it is what it is. Everything happened for a reason, you know? Look at that. I'm starting to understand this connection. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So, wow. Now this person is starting to uh, understand what this connection is. But you, you're, you don't already release this person. 
Like you've already released them. Oops. Give me another message for the collective. Look at that. Sorry I led you on. It could have chose someone else over you with, um, I wish it was you instead of them. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Reading your old messages, this person is reminiscing a lot. But they were so damn manipulative. Like, you really could not trust nothing that this person said at all. Keeping tabs on you, but they are watching you. Though I just heard this person cannot let you go. But you, you, you need some, you're taking personal space from them. Okay? You're taking personal space from this person. I feel like this person had a choice between you and someone else because it says still in love with someone else. This person was going back and forth between you and somebody from their past. And you ain't have time for that. For real. So now you you need your space. Some of y'all could have actually told this person, look, I need my space from you. I need my space from you. So you are taking personal space from this person. They don't know how to deal with this. Look at that. You feel like something has came to some type of completion. True love, this is a this is a divine connection. So some type of karmic cycle between you and this person has came to a completion. Even though this is a true love. Look at that. You're dealing with your divine masculine. So some type of cycle that some shit that y'all always go through in every lifetime with each other has came to some type of completion. It could be um, you running behind this person in this lifetime. You finally decide. Look at that. Acceptance is here again. Accepting yourself and others as they are liberates patterns of resistance open to flow. So the fact that you decided to not chase them in this lifetime is, is drawing this person in towards you. The fact that you're just accepting like, look, this is how they is right now. OK, look at that sacred space. Time out. Clear your energy. Space brings clarity. Then I just say you want your space right now. That's why you're not talking to this person. That's why you're not reaching out to this person. You want your space right now. And this person, they, they don't understand. They're not used to you being in this type of energy. This person is not used to you not wanting to talk, not wanting to be around them, not running behind them. They're just not used to you being like this when it comes to them. Hmm. Let me pull um, a past life card for your person. And then I'm going to also extend this and finish this reading over on, on the other side. If this is your story and you want to see how this is going to play out. What is this person's next move? What are they hiding from you? How do they really feel about you with their heart space type of energy? And what you don't see coming. And I'm also going to pull a past life card for you guys as well to see what happened in a, in a lifetime that you share with this person that's affecting you today. So spirit, what happened in this person's, um, in a recent lifetime for the, the collective person that's affecting them today? Dancer, natural rhythm, loves movement and expression with body. Um, dance and move. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who loves music or this person think they could dance. I don't know why I got a visual in my head of your person. They think they this person likes to dance. Even though if they can't dance, they just like to dance. Okay? And royalty. It says regal, royal-like presence, working on being humble and grateful. So y'all dealing with somebody who arrogant as hell. They selfish as fuck. And the reason why they're like this is because this person was royalty in a recent lifetime. A past life, they were like a king or a queen. So they still have that mentality of everything needs to go my way. But it's not like that, baby. You're not a king and a queen in this lifetime. You're just still carrying their energy from a previous lifetime. Your person has to learn how to take others' thoughts and feelings and wants and needs into consideration. That's a part of their karmic lesson in this lifetime. It's how not to be selfish and how to be more grateful. And peace. You find peace because you've done this before. Your person is learning how to go with the flow and just find peace and that shit ain't in their control. Your person controlling as hell. They're going to have to get off of this. But they got this because they're this way because of who they were in a previous lifetime. So if this is your story, go over to the description box. Click the link to the extended. Follow me over to the other side and we will dig deeper into this reading for you. All right. I love you guys. You guys are so awesome.
Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not already done, done so. Hit the notification bell so that when I post a video, you guys will get an alert. You guys are awesome. Peace.